Today we have a Nintendo themed RetroPie build and this is a version 3 from DMC. Yes, he's a DMC car fan and uh, for those of you that have been in the scene for a while, you've seen his builds before. He did 128 gigabyte Nintendo only theme with like just tons of Nintendo DS, all the Nintendo 64, you know, and everything in between. And then he did some smaller builds, uh, but all those builds are on RetroPie 4.3. So now we have this brand new updated and some of the cool things he's done is he's gone through the Nintendo DS. I think that was the number one complaint from the last one is there's too much bloat of the Nintendo DS games on the 128. So now you have a 64 gigabyte version which still has like over 10 gigabytes remaining of space so you can totally add your own. If you want to add Final Burn Alpha, Neo Geo, some more arcade games, you could totally do that. But as I mentioned, this is a Nintendo only build running RetroPie 4.4 that's going to run on the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 0 and the Raspberry Th Pi 3B Plus. So pretty much most of the Raspberry Pi lineup. So Nintendo only image for all the Raspberry Pi lineup. Let's check it out. So when you first open up the image, it will prompt you to do your controls. So the controls are all set up good. As I mentioned, it is a 64 gigabyte image. The image, site, the image itself is 47.6 gigabytes at 51,166,323,000 bytes. So that's going to fit on pretty much any 64 gigabyte SD card. So space concerns should be, as far as the 64 gigabyte image is one of the smallest ones I've seen. Uh, so it should fit if you have any issues with that. 6,465 games total. As you can see, you have your collections here. And we're running the Ruckage SNES Classic theme. So if you go over here to UI settings or on the SNES Classic, um, you can also download the NES Classic theme if you want. And I'm also told that this theme is going to get an update soon. So it's going to look even cooler. But if you're new to the RetroPie scene, you're looking at this and you see it looks just like an SNES Classic Mini, but it's much, much better because the SNES Classic Mini is um, contingent on how much space you have remaining. So here, you can see under Super Nintendo, we can actually fit 786 games while still including Nintendo 64, Game Boy, and the portables as well. So this thing is fully loaded. It seems that all the, all the game collections are fully on here as far as the uh, ROM packs uh, for every system except... Uh, Nintendo DS and Nintendo 64. Nintendo DS has over a thousand titles, although again, most people say majority of them are junk, and that's why it's been slimmed down to 302. And then Nintendo 64 as well, but as I mentioned, I am on the um, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, so a lot of these, all these 182 are supposedly good running games. And as you can see, we have the JPEG, and then a video snap, JPEG video snap. So this is fully loaded with all the artwork and all the video snaps. Um, so I just want to reiterate why this image is so great is it's everything Nintendo. And with Nintendo bringing down the hammer recently with these ROM sites, this is a breath of fresh air. Now um, you have arcade games as well, the VS games, as well as other Nintendo games that were released for... Um, Arcade systems, arcade cabinets. So cool to see those as well. And let's go through here really quick. So 104 of those. Family computer disk system, uh, family computer system, 355. Family computer disk system is 149. Nintendo NES, 789. Super Famicom, 512. Super Nintendo, 786. Nintendo 64, 182. As I mentioned, there's over 300 titles for the Nintendo 64. But a lot of them just play like garbage on the on the Raspberry Pi, so they might not be worth including. But earlier in the video, I let you know that this image still has over 10 gigabytes remaining. So if you wanted to throw the rest of the Nintendo 64 or add some Dreamcast or some PlayStation or some Final Burn Alpha, very easy to do. Drag and drop. Game and Watch, you have 56. These are those little portable systems where you go left, right, left, right. Game Boy, 705. Let's go ahead and jump in a Game Boy game really quick. So we have Nintendo launch screens, which is really cool. As I mentioned, the whole theme is totally decked out from the splash screens when you boot up the system to the bezels you see here. So there you go, you are gonna get bezels. And the screen isn't blown up as well. 
So it's going to look really great no matter what size your screen is. The, the game will not be stretched out. Game Boy Color 533. Game Boy Advance over a thousand. So that's just pretty much the whole ROM pack. So for those of you that want to tidy up an image, you might want to delete some of these games if you don't care for them. You can have even more space available. So there you go, you got your nice beautiful bezel. Looking good. Speaking of bezels, this also does have the bezel project installed. But uh, it has the bezel project, the base installed, but you still need to enable it if you want the bezel project. The bezel project puts custom bezels per game. Get right, kid. To exit a game, it's just start select. It's whatever you custom uh, under when you configure your controls and you say yes or in the beginning of the image. Whatever you do as your um, your special button at the end, you want. I typically like to use select, and that'll be select and then start or whatever your special button is. Press start. Plus start is uh, how you will exit the games. So I think a lot of people are going to want to see what we got on Nintendo DS here. So a lot of great games, Chrono Trigger, Diddy Kong Racing. Now there was a ton of games for this system, but as people mentioned, a lot of them are garbage. But you got Kirby, you got some Lego games that are fun, uh, Mario games, quite a few. Oh, switched over there. Mega Man's, Metroid, Need for Speed. Some people on my channel like the Nintendo Dogs, Pokemon, Resident Evil, Skate, Sonic, Spider Man, Star Trek, Star Wars, Tony Hawk, Wario, Worms, Yoshi's, Yu Gi Oh! Ending with Zubu. Zubo, sorry. Virtual Boy 24. Um, Custom graphics that they did where they added this little gold coin right above 1985. And as you can see, these all have the gold coin. And that's how you differentiate between the Super Nintendo, the just standard Super Nintendo. See how it says 1991. And then Super Nintendo, still 1991, but it has a little coin on top that says hacked games. So the directories are separate, which is nice, right? If you don't want, you know, the Super Nintendo already has 700 games in it. So. 222 of them are here, or 222 additional ones are going to be over here. All right, and you got your hack. So 22 Game Boy Advance, one Game Boy Color, 19 Game Boy, 221, and a lot of these are going to be your Super Mario World. There's there's so many Super Mario World hacks as you're seeing. Look at all these. Oh, oh. hold on, where am I now? There we go. Look at all this. Oh. Boy. And these games don't take up a ton of space, so don't complain. I mean, if you don't want them, don't play them or delete them. But they're taking up so little space. A lot of those games are like one megabyte. One megabyte out of, out of 64,000 megabytes. You got to have a lot of those. Okay, and then you got your Nintendo hack games as well. Lots of Castlevanias here. You got the Zelda hacks, Double Dragon. Some fun games. If you haven't messed with the hack games, that, that could be weeks or months of entertainment. Um, especially if you have a favorite game. It kind of puts a spin on something that you enjoyed when you were younger. Uh, configuration, you got the bezel project, as I mentioned. You got Easy Hacks Toolkit installed for you already. So little tweaks, scripts that are already done for you that you don't have to do. Um, install a power button script, which is really nice. Um, also the Nest Pi. If you're running a Nest Pi case, this has the script pre-installed. So if I was going to do a Nintendo only build and I had nothing, I would go ahead and get one of those kits in the description below, get the the SD card and then get the Nest Pi case and then just run the script and now you have you have the case. You have the full, you have the control, you can get the controllers, um, the i Buffalo controllers what I would recommend. And then you literally have this whole SNES NES classic setup. Um, or uh, SNES, another really great SNES option would be the Kentaro case. If you want the SNES case so now uh, you might notice that we have another yellow, but instead of a coin, it's kind of a it's kind of a ragged edged sun, and those are going to be your classic editions. So these are the ones that Nintendo re released starting in 2016 with the NES and the family computer system, and then jumping up in 2017, 
And may he says that this is going to be his last image, but what happens when the N64 Classic drops in 2018 or 2019? We're going to have to add two more, the 2018 <laughs> N64 and the Japanese N64 edition uh, games. But as, it, but as you see here, it's the same games, you know, for example, also has Star Fox 2 that you can unlock, uh, which is pre-unlocked on this, but uh, has all those games that came with the SNES Classic. All right, so there you have it. DMC dropping a 64 gigabyte Nintendo only SNES Classic themed. Haven't found a single thing wrong with this. As I mentioned, people poked holes in the Nintendo DS before, or potentially the Nintendo 64, but this has it all. It's well sorted out. It doesn't have too many collections. Um, if you want, you can add your own collections, like a Mega Man collection, and you can get into that if you want. But um, you know, these are just little tweaks here and there. I'd say this is a 99% done image, and you could take it and mess with it a little bit, or I know a lot of you out there are just gonna take it and love it. As I mentioned, it has the NestPy scripts already ready for you. So this really does put a new spin on the plug and play SNES Ultimate Classic. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.